In 2013, Lockheed Martin executive Robert Weiss seemingly indicated to Aviation Week that Lockheed Martin was developing a hypersonic aircraft and dubbed it the SR-72. Since then, a lot of isolated new reports point to the fact that Lockheed Martin is up to something. In this video, we will tell you about this Lockheed Martin's new aircraft concept, the SR-72, successor of SR-71. This video is powered by Explando Video Creator, a video creator that allows you to create attention-grabbing professional videos in just minutes. With its simple drag and drop, it requires no skills or hours of training. With Explendio, you can make a lot of things like top converting YouTube outros, color doodoo and sketch videos, create full 3D videos and animations, produce Hollywood-like promo videos, multiple attention-grabbing animations at the same time, and many more. You can get it right now. The link is in the description of this video, so go get it and enjoy. Don't miss this chance. Before we talk about the SR-72, let's first take a look at the SR-71. In 1976, the SR-71 Blackbird became the fastest ever manned air-breathing aircraft, a record that it still holds till this day. At a top speed of 2,200 miles per hour and a flight altitude of over 80,000 feet, it was practically untouchable by the enemy. It was used to fly over enemy territory and collect intelligence such as photographs of enemy positions and locations. During its operational life, more than 800 surface-to-air missiles were fired at this craft in an attempt to shoot it down, all of which missed. The high speed and high altitude allowed the aircraft to simply outrun enemy missiles. It was finally retired permanently in 1988. Lockheed Martin, the company that developed the SR-71, now confirms that they are currently developing a successor to the Blackbird. The aircraft is stated to be similar in size to the SR-71 Blackbird. Despite the aircraft being dubbed the SR-72, this name is just a placeholder and might not be the final name of the aircraft. It is stated to operate at over twice the speed of the SR-71, reaching top speeds of over 4,000 miles per hour or 7,000 kilometers per hour. To attain its design speeds, Lockheed Martin has been collaborating with Aerojet since 2006 on an appropriate engine. The company is developing the scramjet-powered HTV-3X, which was cancelled in 2008. Unlike the SR-71, the SR-72 is planned to be unmanned. The SR-71 actually had an unmanned cousin called the D-21. The D-21 drone could fly just as high and just as fast as the SR-71 and was designed to carry out the same missions. However, it performed poorly, repeatedly crashing over enemy territories due to technical limitations at its time. The new aircraft will allow extremely fast intelligence gathering and area imagery of enemy targets. There has also been discussions about a smaller manned version of the SR-72. The aircraft is also stated to carry out strike roles, which means it is capable of carrying and delivering weapons. In this role, it is similar to the B-2 Spirit, using its speed to protect itself while flying over and destroying enemy targets. In November of 2018, Lockheed Martin stated that a prototype of the SR-72 was scheduled to fly by 2025. The hypersonic aircraft will be capable of firing hypersonic missiles. The aircraft might not carry radar absorbent material like the SR-71 to reduce its radar signature. Other aircraft use this technology to hide from radar like the F-22 Raptor F-35 Lightning II and B-2 Spirit. Because the heat generated by hypersonic travel will most likely burn away the radar absorbent material. Also, a hypersonic aircraft like the SR-72 will require a completely new crop of weapons that can be launched at such high speeds. 
if this topic interests you, then we previously made a video about concept aircrafts like this. Make sure to check it out. Do you have any more ideas about this aircraft? Please tell me in the comment section because it will be so helpful. Please make sure to subscribe to this channel and click the notification bell so you will be updated anytime we upload a new video. Thanks for watching and see you in my next video.